Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. You join me inside my Tesla Model 3 where I have finally gotten a software update. It's been months, it's a big one. It actually has some features you're gonna want and some of us are getting them and some of us are not. I'm gonna break it all down on today's Tesla Tips and Trips. Join me. All right, before we begin about this update, uh, software updates are not usually that exciting. It's usually just bug fixes. It's usually just one or two little features, but this one's a little bit big considering it's not a holiday update. The thing about updates though, I've been waiting for about two months on my Tesla Model 3 from 2019. No updates, nothing. I check every day, checking, checking, nothing, checking, checking, nothing. You know the drill, right? Uh, and finally, yesterday, Friday, April 28th, all of a sudden on my phone, it popped up. I'm like, oh, score, must be just, you know, bug fixes, whatever, getting ready for this update that we've been hearing about. You know, with the text that's larger and the gear chimes and all that stuff, we've been hearing that the employees have gotten it and that it wasn't rolled out to the masses yet. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's here, but it's not here for everybody. So I wanna show those folks that haven't gotten the update yet what you're in for, uh, if you did get the update, what you might have missed and what, you know, included in this particular update. What's interesting is my 2019 Model 3 got it yesterday. My Tesla Model Y from 2022, no update. I don't know where it is. It's not there yet. So that car is still in the past. But uh, let's go through some of the features that uh, you do get on this update. And, you know, we'll see what's cool, what's not, what might be useful, useless. I think there's some good stuff packed into this one though. So uh, let's go take a look. Oh, I'm having Starbucks too. So while we do this, not sponsored by the way, I wish they were, uh, I'll be sipping on this. So you, you can tell it's morning. All right, let's get to the update and see what's inside. Okay, here's the release notes page for this particular uh, update. 2023.12 is the major release. Then the dot releases are dot one and dot one. And uh, your car may have a different dot at the end that there's just, you know, particular uh, models and stuff. So here's what we are looking at for this particular uh, update. And there's some good stuff packed in here. Usually, like I said, just bugs and you could see, you could scroll down and see this one. This update only had a new language. This update had sentry mode lighting um, and just, you know, bug fixes and stuff like this. This one has kind of a quite a list. The first one I want to show you just because it's kind of fun. I'm going to go down here to gear chimes. Check this out. So we're going to go into drive, listen, after the seatbelt chime, we got a little boop boop. I think that's so cool. It, it added a little personality. Now go into reverse, boop boop, that's backwards, and then park, boop boop boop. I love it. <laughs> it's the little things, you know? <laughs> I love it. Uh, here we go. Okay, so text size. This one uh, has been much anticipated, and as someone who does wear reading glasses normally, not while I'm driving, of course, um, I was waiting for this. I was hoping for this. I couldn't wait to see what would, how big it would be. And I'm here to tell you, it's nice. If you're you're waiting for this as a, a fix all, at the end of the day, if you need reading glasses, it's just bigger blurry text. <laughs> I mean, it's not really, uh, you know, much different. Yeah, the other operating system is, is slightly smaller. By the way, it does require a reboot um, to, to change modes of text. So let's take a look at that. It looks like you could probably see it right here with the uh, fasten seatbelt is already bigger, open, trunk, and frunk, and all that stuff. Those are definitely all bigger. Uh, let's take a look. You could really see it on the menus here. So those are much bigger with the, uh, the bigger text. Personally, like I said, uh, if I look at it without my reading glasses, it is it is bigger, there's no question, but it's still blurry. I mean, it's not, it doesn't fix that problem. So I think I'm gonna go back. It looks a little more elegant to me. I'm gonna go back to the uh, the original, but maybe it's because I'm so used to it. Four years with this car, and I'm just so used to that, uh, that text. So all right, let's go back to the release notes. Um, control search user interface improves improvements okay oh yeah that's right uh search function is for quicker access so you just like on your your computer you can search for different controls and it'll pop up it's it's kind of cool and you just put in a search term i don't know like open glove box or whatever and uh, let's go do that right now let's go check that out so search oh by the way i'm so bummed i was going to show this to you and i can't because it's already gone but Yesterday when the the update came out, it had little new tabs on the different things that were new, like right above search it said new. So that was also 
new. <laughs> the, the new feature. All right, so let's put in, I don't know, a uh, glove. But, oh, there it is. And then it shows up. That's pretty cool. So if there's something you, you instead of digging deep into the, all the menus of these particular uh, uh, things, you can just go to search and go, oh, what was I looking for again? Autopilot, even though it's there. Auto steer shows up. Let's see what happens if you put on auto autopilot. Nothing. Oh, that's because I spelled it wrong. And it gives, oh, these are the, the, the subcategories. So it actually gives you the, the, the features right there on one page. Got to take a sip of Starbucks here. So that's the search feature. That's pretty cool. I mean, if, you're, if you can't remember where a certain uh, uh, feature was or setting or whatever, um, that's kind of cool. I like it. You're, you're getting a more robust uh, operating system now. All right, I've been told my videos are too long, so we got to get, get a, a move on here. How am I getting out of this? There we go. Uh, software. Points of interest. This is really cool. I just discovered this this morning uh, with superchargers. So before, let's go to superchargers. Uh, actually, we've got to go maps. Uh, this. Let's go to our local supercharger. Let's see if it shows up. There it is. Pictures, which is kind of cool. At least, if, like, if you're on a road trip, you know what you're in for, what's around maybe, um, where it might be located just based on surroundings and stuff. So that's pretty cool. This, again, it's becoming a little more robust uh, operating system for sure. This one, everyone has been waiting for, phone call controls. It's going to take a little getting used to, I have a feeling. But uh, control your phone calls from the steering wheel, which has been much asked for, much anticipated. So here's how it works. The uh, left scroll button to answer or decline incoming calls. And then once you're on the call, you can use that to mute or unmute yourself or hang up. So that's going to take a little testing and learning and muscle memory kind of stuff to remember exactly uh, which scroll wheel does what. And you don't want to maybe unmute yourself and say something about the person and then you're still on. <laughs> That would be a little embarrassing. <laughs> so there you go. Phone controls right there on the um, on the steering wheel. And then kind of in the same uh, line there, scroll wheel customization. So you can do even more with the left scroll wheel. It's uh, there right there in the front sentence. Uh, add settings like brightness, acceleration mode, perform actions like toggle the camera app, glove box, and saving dash cam footage. This is This is going to be a video by itself on all the different things we can customize the scroll wheel for. So we're not gonna get into that in this video, but man, that, that's a topic right there of all the different things you can add to it. Uh, gear chime features we already did, so cool. It's one of the little things, little fun things. Um, it's not coming up though. I don't know why, weird. Uh, voice recognition language, actually none of these are coming up. It's stuck on customization. It's so, there we go. It was so excited about that. It doesn't wanna get into gear chimes again. Uh, or that. Let's get out of this, and I'll come back. Uh, so we did the gear chimes. So fun. Love that feature. Uh, voice recognition language now is going to recognize British English. To update your voice recognition language, go to controls and display. Let's see that. You know, I'm kind of bummed. I, well, we did a road trip last year. Go check that video out. Uh, actually, we've got like four or five videos on there. Um, from last year, when we uh, rented a Tesla in Europe, we could have the British voice talking to us in navigation. And here, um, I don't think we have that, that option. Maybe this might be a good uh, time to use the search feature. So I'm not finding what I need. What did, what did they say? Display voice recognition. Okay, that's right. Why would that be in display? I guess because it's in the display, right? Yeah, touch screen language, voice recognition language. Voice navigation language is what we used in Europe, and they had a British lady in there. I'm not sure why they're always ladies, but there was a British lady in there, and it was so cool. I just it it refined the experience for us while we were in Europe, touring our Tesla Model Y, long range throughout Germany and Denmark and the Netherlands. Again, check out all those videos. We've got a bunch of them. We did Autobahn stuff. That was really cool. Oh, here's that little new tab. That's cool. So some, it's there, I guess, for things I haven't checked out yet. So there's the new tab I was telling you about on things that are, well, of course, new. So we're going to change that text size back to standard. At least I am. Um, you know, bigger text is still blurry if you've got uh, 
if you need glasses anyway. So uh, there's that new feature again, scroll wheel function. I've got none in there. Let's see what's in there. Oh, okay. I love it. See, this is why we poke around while uh, we're doing the videos. Temperature, fan speed, uh, display brightness, save dash cam, acceleration, camera, defrost, dome lights, and glove box are all the choices. Ask each time. That's actually kind of cool because while you're learning the system, you might want to remember exactly what you're asking for with the scroll wheel. But again, that seems like a uh, whole other video. We might do a, a deeper dive into that one feature alone. So uh, there you go. That is 2023.12, much anticipated. I got it on my Tesla Model 3 from 2019. I have not gotten it on my Tesla Model Y from 2022. Not sure why, but um, that's what we're looking at for, for this. And I will leave you with this. Are you ready? Here we go. Boop, boop. I love that. How about neutral? No, that's park. Boop, 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 boop. I forgot to, hey, let's do reverse one more time. Boop, boop. <laughs> I love it. It just adds a little personality to our car all of a sudden. You know, that's the little thing sometimes you gotta be excited about, right? Parking brake, did you know you could do that? Press and hold this button here. Uh, you can't see the button. Press and hold this button, puts the parking brake there on the left there, the red thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's one down, not two down on the, the gear shifter for drive. You know how you kind of just slam it down for drive? Like that, you just go one down for neutral, at least when you were in park. Oh, that's right, that's an autopilot. You wanna do that while you're parked. So let's do it. Yeah, it's just one slight down for neutral. That's a bonus tip for you. It has nothing to do with the software update. Boop, boop, boop. All right, there you go. A somewhat quick uh, review of the latest Tesla software update. 2023.12 is here. Wait for it, it's gonna come. You just got to have a little patience. There is no rhyme or reason whatsoever when it comes to Tesla software updates. I have no idea. I have yet to figure it out. Sometimes I get it on Friday. Sometimes I get it on Tuesday. Sometimes the Y gets it first. Sometimes the three gets it first. It's who knows. So just wait it out. Uh, it'll come and you'll get all these goodies packed into the latest update. Uh, that's the, the amazing thing about Tesla is this 2019 is up to date with the latest cars with all the latest software updates and features, it's it's absolutely incredible. Find me another car where you drive it off the lot and it changes as you own it. You're not gonna find it these days. Uh, some electric cars, but not like Tesla. Over the air, software updates, so awesome. All right, thank you once again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll join you on another video coming soon.